if you happen to be using a email provider that is outside of the Google or the Microsoft ecosystem, that from time to time you will have problems. That's just the way that email goes. And to be honest, most of the world has moved on from using their web host for emails and they're now using more sophisticated email software and productivity ecosystems. My email with our own domain name is hosted on Bluehost. I wanna change that to Google as Bluehost is mostly unreliable. Well, I'm not surprised if you happen to be using a email provider that is outside of the Google or the Microsoft ecosystem that from time to time you will have problems. That's just the way that email goes. And to be honest, most of the world has moved on from using their web host for emails and they're now using more sophisticated email software and productivity ecosystems. Google is one of those, Microsoft is one of those, and there's a couple of others as well. Zoho exists and I think Salesforce are trying to do their own thing too. But for the moment, my recommendation is to either choose Google Workspace or Microsoft 365 and go with that for your email. Now, if you're like this person and you want to make the switch over to Google Workspace, you've got two options. Option number one is you go for a fresh start. You set up Google Workspace, you configure it, and we've got guides on our channel on how to get started with Google Workspace and set it up for your business and set it up for your domain name. If you don't need to worry about bringing over any of your historical data, then you can just set it up, change your DNS settings to get your email flowing from your old host over to Google. So any new emails start arriving at Google from now forward. And your previous emails will either live on your computer, presumably where you've downloaded them, or maybe with your existing web host. Now, option number two is for you to do a data migration. And a data migration is where you take all of your historical data and you move that across into the Google ecosystem. The advantage of doing this is that you're able to search through all of your historical data from within your Gmail account. If you've got folders where all of your emails are sorted into specific areas and you are the kind of person who likes to keep things neat and tidy so you can rely on previous emails or messages from clients or customers, well, you wanna bring those emails and folders across and a data migration will help you to do that. If you wanna completely cancel your old hosting and that is inevitably going to delete all of the files and folders and emails that are there, well, you definitely need to do a migration. What that means is that you bring all of that legacy history into your Google account, and then you can safely delete your old hosting account with all of the stuff that's gone. Now, how do you get a migration done? Well, I've got other videos on the channel on planning and getting your migration executed, but effectively you're going cloud to cloud with your email or sometimes your computer to the cloud, and you're bringing all of your history into Google's ecosystem. There's a number of different tools to make that happen from a Outlook connection tool, if you're on Microsoft Outlook, to cloud to cloud services that will help you migrate data from wherever your emails are right now across and into the Google ecosystem. If you'd like some help getting a migration done, well, that's our core business at IT Genius, and we've helped literally thousands of business owners all over the world migrate data between Dropbox and Google Drive and between all kinds of different email systems into Gmail so that you've got all your history available, backed up, safe, and secured in your fresh Google account. My strong recommendation, if you're moving cloud to cloud, is that you have someone help you to do it. Unless you have a free weekend to read instruction manuals, make mistakes, and learn how to get it done yourself, my recommendation would be to take advantage of our very affordable services to help you with your data migration. And if you'd like some free advice and a free quote without any hard sell, have a chat to our consulting team by clicking on the link down below, and they'll be happy to help you scope out your migration plan and decide how to move forward from there.